the stain anytime they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Miami Dolphins. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and we are underway from Miami this fielded right at the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line Hill. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, yeah. didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Looking to throw on second down. Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. In motion left is Wilson. Ready? Off of play action, tug of Iloa. Open net is Waddle complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. I certainly know that I, for one, would not like to be on the other end of a tackle when this guy's coming at you full speed from his strong safety spot. Boy, that was a nice play. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. On first down, Tonga Vailoa. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the running game with Mostert. And a good push up front and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That one good for 13 and a Dolphin first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Two and now on first down. Going for it all. And that is incomplete. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. In motion left is Wilson. To throw on second and 10. Two. And he 
he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Well, this offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Here's Tua. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt. But they couldn't get that stop on third down. Now they have to hunker down because guess what? That drive continues. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Two and now on first down. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown Miami. Jalen Waddle, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point, ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Still going. And he will score. Touchdown, Eagles. Well, there you go. They gave up a score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Black Ultra. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Hey, hey, move. Throwing now is Chung of Iloa. Gets this to his running back, Jeff Wilson. 
They'll get it inside the 20 and all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Over 30 yards there. And first downs on three consecutive plays now. Oftentimes now, okay. offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Cedric Wilson from 13 yard town. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14 7 ball game. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete, nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. And a sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Brown out wide. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Ready, break! From the 36, Hurts. The Sanders has got it complete. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. Third and seven now. Throwing his Hurts. And once again, this is Sanders. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. 
The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here we go. First Here down we go. Miami as they get set to start the drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. He's put up numbers in this one by pushing the envelope a bit whenever he could with deeper throws. Well, let's play a little philosophy here. Some plays it works, sometimes they're ready for you. And that time, they were on guard, incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Tua, eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Well, that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position.
Play fake. Here's Tonga of Iloa. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Tua eluding the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. Here we go. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Two are going to throw. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 33. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They run behind center with game one. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit, and that's what he did on that play. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Over the middle here to Brown. The 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia! A.J. Brown, 60 yards! And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there tip of the cap to them. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Here comes another drive from this unit, and Charles, they're coming off a costly mistake on the last possession, an interception in a game that is very close right now. Well, as we know, they all sting no matter what the situation, but in a one-possession game, that'll hurt a little bit more. But this is an excellent opportunity to make up for it on this drive. I just don't expect them to try and take huge gambles to make up that momentum in a hurry. Ready. Good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Ready. Now Tua. Buying time to his left. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He was out there waving his arms. When you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. Looking to pass to him. And going deep for Hill. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We know he has a lot of confidence in his arm and likes to force it downfield, but the coverage was tight there. Fortunate it wasn't picked off. Third quarter from Miami. This is second and ten. Tua sets up to pass it. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to nerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They go play action with Hertz. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. They kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll set up a throw. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. The tackle there by Justin Bethel. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. Touchdown! Quez Watkins, a touchdown on a kick return, and now one through the air. And the Eagles will add to their fourth quarter lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score, Eagles 24, Dolphins 14. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. Man, to put it mildly, we look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the Let's hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Good. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here to have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Third down, they turn to Sanders. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they... And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Boy, they get him yet again, Charles. Five interceptions in this game. You rarely see this, maybe a couple of times in a season, but this defense, they've been fantastic. It's certainly an example of watching a defense that is in the zone, right? We use that term so often, but most of the time, it's for people who are on offense. In this case, it's a defense as a whole, all locked in with each other, all ready to go. Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw it playing out in my head. You know they didn't expect this at all. As you mentioned, went into the half of the lead. Losing the game is one thing. Getting shut out in the second half, that's a surprise.